Welcome to Talking All Out War, a show about Mantic Games miniature game, The Walking Dead All Out War. Now here are this week's hosts. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Talking All Out War. In today's video, we will be doing an unboxing of the Safety Behind Bars Kickstarter edition. Lovely artwork. I, j I just can't keep saying it enough. I'm such a fan of the comics, and I'm glad that they're doing the comics here. So, this one takes place after they find the prison. So, we will open this, I think. I hope. I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. There we go. Get the plastic open. Now, the safety behind bars rule book. Expansion rule book. Let's see here. We will move this over to the side here. Put that there. Um, new rules, you have open and close, barricade, smash, there's new scenery. Um, I have the neoprene version of the safety behind, behind a bars map, which has the prison yard and, of course, the prison. Um... There is an armory. Oh, nice. So this is one of the extra things that we get in there is there's an armory. We've got the chain link fence rooms. We have another, we have narrative campaign again. Uh, new events and supply cards. There's a secure position moving in and around buildings and how walkers do that. Um, new special rules collapse and we have armored walkers. Uh, chapter one is clear the yard of the campaign. Uh, chapter two whoop, is unwanted guests. Chapter three is clearing house. Chapter 4 is a chance encounter. Hello, Michonne. Uh, chapter 5 is mercy mission. Uh, chapter 8, or chapter, excuse me, what comes after 5 people? Chapter 6, uh, misplaced loyalty. Finally, chapter seven is down in flames, and it has all of the victory conditions for it. And oh, wouldn't you know, the last page is welcome to Woodbury. <laughs> Love it. Um, here is the map. And what I like most about the maps, when you flip it over, it tells everything you get inside the box. What's in the box? Right. Here we have the tokens. We will go with that view there. Um, there is the armory from the rules. There's your fences. Doors. Or more fences. Oh, those are the cell doors. Durr. And then finally, your health. Bites and X's. So very nice. Now on to the miniatures. First things first, where's she at? Where's my girl? 
Andrea Sniper. She's pretty brutal. Can't wait to play her. Said it a thousand times. She is one of the most intense. If you're only a show watcher, Andrea is Carol times 10. All right, next we have Andrew. Trying to remember where he's from. And then we have Big Axel. He is one of the prisoners. Billy and Ben. Dexter, also a prisoner, troublemaker. Eugene. And then we have Glenn? Where's Glenn? I'm not seeing... Here, hold on. We'll go on with Harold. And our first walker. And then we have our second walker, Chained Man. We have Thomas. Crazy, crazy Thomas. We have Morgan, distraught father. We have Rick in prison, guard get up. We have Grabby Walker. We have Prison Walker. And then we have Prison Walker without a hand. Interesting. And then we have the lovely Michonne. with her pets. Throw that. Mike and Terry. And somewhere in here is a chain to put them all together. There they are. There's the chains for Mike and Terry. And we are missing Maggie with a rifle, Glenn, Wes, Susie and Rachel, and then three walkers. And I'm guessing that those will be the Wave 3 retail when the time comes. So very nice to have 
the collector's guide here on the back of the poster. Now, looking at the cards, we have Andrea, she's so amazing, Billy and Ben, Harold Abernathy, he is part of the governor's crew. He's got a little governor right there. We have Rick Grimes. Prison advisor. We have Tyrese, blinded by rage. This is going to be an interesting... Look at that melee. Three red dice. Nerve high. Special rules raging. Tyrese adds an extra one to the threat level whenever he fights in melee. While the threat level is high, he adds one red to his melee. That's awesome. Uh, Dexter. Dexter is one of the um, prisoners. Causes a, just a bit of problems. Then there's Thomas. Oh, Andrew. Okay, Andrew is the running one. He is a prisoner as well. Duh, now that I see his picture. Uh, Axel. That's a could be a nice little gang there. Um, Carlos. Crazy Carol. I'm so crazy. There's Michonne. This is her wandering nomad persona. Morgan, distraught father. And then Eugene Cooney, another one of the governor's thugs. So there's the cards for this one. We will now move on to the new event cards that come with this set. We have No Hope. This remains in play. Um, all quiet, low threat. In the action phase, all survivors must roll the badge dice when they're activated. On a badge, they act normally. On a blank, they treat their nerve as one lower level, one level lower than normal. And that one, once it's pulled, stays out the whole game. Um, hold the fences. This is works with the scenery. Leave that up there long enough for you to get a good chance to read it. Um, armored assault. This one is two armored walkers come into play. Short circuit. Power surge resets all system and the prison goes dark. So that one's going to be definitely prison-specific. And then there is the Armored Walker. Two melee defense dice. Um, helmet ignores one headshot from each attack roll. Wow. And outnumbering a single walker of this type in combat rolls a melee value as normal. Second in same combat rolls two. The third one rolls three, and so on, up to a maximum of five dice. So yeah, that can get pretty, pretty crazy right off the bat. 
And then finally, let's go on with our supply and equipment cards for this expansion. I'm betting there's going to be a lot of Riot gear. Just going to say. All right, we have a Riot baton. Riot gear. Another Riot gear. Riot shield. Riot helmet. A first aid kit. A couple of shivs. Some meds. Pump app pump action shotgun. A taser. Tear gas, which causes noise. And then we have Mike and Terry, which are special items for Michonne only. 15 points a piece. They fill one hand slot together, and may not be placed in the pack. And the Terry model must stay within one inch of Michonne as well as Mike. He is treated as a walker by enemies. If attacked, he may only defend and is removed when damaged. Uh, discard Terry to ignore all damage from an attack and discard Mike to get rid of all damage from an attack. So they mask the scent, which is nice, kind of like the gory clothes. Um, katana. Now that's not Michonne's katana. I think that's just a katana. Because I believe that we have a Michonne's, well, maybe not. Never mind. They'll just shut up. We have a traveling cloak. Body armor. Another grenade. A shovel. A titanium baseball bat. Makeshift body armor. A crowbar. Riot gear. A 357 Desert Eagle armor piercing handgun reliable. Wow, that's going to be brutal. A silencer. A Browning Safari rifle. Tear gas. Sniper scope attachment for a rifle. More riot gear. A couple more shivs. Dual wield, one use. Sharp. A crowbar. Some meds. And a, now, okay, hold on. We passed into supplies after the sniper scope. So the riot gear, these shivs, the crowbar, the meds, these are all supplies and not equipment. And then finally, we have a lockdown supply. The survivor sets off an alarm. All cell doors immediately closed. Any model of the door in a doorway is pushed aside in a direction of their choice. So that should be pretty interesting to see what happens there so there we have the equipment cards and everything from wave three safety behind bars the kickstarter edition um again let's see how these bad boys pop out to see if there's any nope no issue now remember there's one thing that you can do to these get yourself a little elmer's glue the white pva school glue and mix it with a little bit of water and to water it down and then take a paintbrush and just put it along the edges here and it'll dry clear but it'll seal the edges so that they don't pull apart at all that's just a little hint that's what I do for when I have uh, cardboard tokens a lot of cardboard tokens for a game that I know we're gonna get a lot of use so there you have it. That is the collector's, uh, or sorry, I'm sitting here looking at my map, <laughs> the back side of my map where it says the collector's guide for the wave three safety behind bars, your survivors and your walkers. Um, wow, again, a bunch of really nice sculpts. Uh, very happy with it. Um, what can I say? I'm very happy that I got in the Kickstarter and I got in on the ground floor of this. Now all I have to do is wait for Wave 3 so that I can get my retail exclusives such as Glenn, Maggie, Wes, Susie, Rachel, and another armored walker and a couple other uh, good-looking walkers. 
So this is John from Talking All Out War. Please swing by TalkingAllOutWar.com and there's a whole bunch of links for all of our social media presence and there you'll find the podcast. Uh, we're up to episode four right now as I film this. We'll be uh, filming, or filming, we'll be recording episode five next week. So please listen, like, and if you're enjoying it, please share it with your friends and let them see. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to Talking All at War. Find us on the internet at TalkingAllOutWar.com. Talking All at War is not affiliated with nor endorsed by Mantic Games, The Walking Dead, Image Comics, Skybound Entertainment, or Robert Kirkman. The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead All at War are property of their respective trademark and copyright holders. The song, Hundred Years in Helheim, is used with permission by the artist Tritachion. Please see TalkingAllOutWar.com for all of our latest news and updates.